how to uh, set up multiplayer in Flight Simulator 2020 or Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So multiplayer is actually not enabled in a separate multiplayer tab like most games but instead is part of the flight selection. So if you go into world map, what we want to do is we want to select an airplane. So I'm going to select an Airbus A320. Um, so what you do is you select your plane as normal. So you go into here. There we go. Go to airliners. There we go. So we select the plane like so. Airbus A320 Neo. So the next thing we want to do is we select our runway. So today I want to select Gatwick like so and then you do your flight plan as normal so let's say today we're going to go from Gatwick to London City Airport like so and there we go so that's going to go through so not stand set we don't want stand set we want London City perfect so then once you've set up where you're flying from what you want to do is you want to go into your flight conditions and then here we have it so multiplayer is on the flight conditions in this game so as you can see here if you click on the flight conditions then you have three choices so you have live players so this will load in all players uh, it, so what, we'll, what this will do is it will um, load in players that are live and then it will say it here so other players will be visible if they also have their multiplayer settings to live players and they share the same air traffic settings so this is the first option so this is for anyone Anyone else that has this setting of the same air traffic control settings as you will also uh, appear. So, for instance, the air traffic settings are here. So, anyone that's playing with live players on and live traffic will appear on your map. Or, for example, if you go to AI, then what will happen is all live players that are playing with AI rather than live traffic will appear in your game once you load in. And then, if you play with air traffic off, then only live players that are playing with air traffic off will appear. So this is if you want to have a full multiplayer without any AI planes. Um, so you can you can decide which air traffic you want. It's really up to you. The next thing you, the next thing you can do is you can also have all players. So what all players is is all players will be visible regardless of their settings unless they have set multiplayer to group only. So if you select all players, that means that all players will be loaded. So live traffic, whether they're playing with live traffic, AI, or off. So that means every single player that is playing will be loaded. So this is what you want to load in if you just want to see everyone around. And then if you don't want to play with multiplayer at all, you can just click off or group only. So what this means is that you're playing basically single player or you're playing with a uh, group of friends. And that's just a different setup right there. Uh, so the other thing to notice is that when you're playing with live players, you cannot edit the weather and the time as this will be dependent on the place you're loading. So for example, if you go to London, as you can see, this is the live weather here. So we've got a bit of clouds and it's getting dark. So this is the weather we will see. Okay, and now finally, if we go to all players, then we are allowed to adjust the weather and the time as we like. So you can have live weather, you can have presets, so you can select it here, day, time, clear skies, clouds, all that, and then you can also do custom. So basically, live players is for the full simulation experience. This is for people who want to play uh, probably with more realism, want to abide by all the air traffic rules, that kind of thing. All players is basically for people who are both on the enthusiast spectrum of things, but also on the more um, gamey side of things, or just the more uh, sightseeing kind of things, just flying around, not, uh, not necessarily following any kind of rules. But guys, that's basically how you set up live players. So once you've done that, you can just click on this again, and then you're ready to fly. So as you can see here, now in multiplayer, all players, we click on this again, and then we just click fly. And then once you load in, you will have all the live players playing. So if you zoom in here, what you will see is that all the greens all the green planes here these are live players and that's pretty much how you can tell where there's players so for example if you want to load into somewhere where there's lots of players if you go here all these green planes indicate to you all the live players so it obviously each was quite busy so i'm just trying to zoom out here then london is less busy and that kind of thing so if, if you want to go and fly around with those other people that's how you can find that as well so guys that's really it that's how you do multiplayer if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a like if you would like to see more tutorial videos or if you'd like to see more microsoft flight simulator 2020 videos including air crash investigation don't forget to hit that subscribe button and never miss out on your next virtual flight that is it for now until next time